Ever find yourself buying stuff you don't really need, only to regret it later? You're not alone. We've all been there staring at a closet full of clothes with nothing to wear, or a kitchen drawer overflowing with gadgets we used once. It's a common problem, but it's a problem with a solution. In this video, I'll show you 10 practical, easy-to-implement hacks to stop wasting money and start saving more. These aren't your typical cutback on lattes tips. We're going deep into the psychology of spending, giving you the tools to break free from the cycle of buying things you don't need and finally keep your hard-earned cash where it belongs, in your pocket. Let's get started. Before you even think about opening your wallet, it's crucial to understand why you spend. What are the underlying reasons that make you reach for your wallet or click that buy now button? What triggers those impulse buys? Is it the thrill of finding a good deal or the rush of acquiring something new? Is it that targeted Instagram ad that seems to know you better than you know yourself? These ads are designed to tap into your desires and weaknesses. Or maybe it's that feeling of FOMO when you see your friends buying the latest gadgets. Social pressure can be a powerful motivator. We're going to dive deep into the psychology of spending and uncover those hidden triggers that are draining your bank account. Understanding these triggers is the first step to gaining control over your finances. Think about it. Have you ever walked into a store for one thing and walked out with a bag full of stuff you didn't even plan on buying? This is a common experience for many people. That's the power of marketing and clever store layouts at work. Stores are designed to encourage you to spend more than you intended, but you can outsmart them. By becoming aware of these tactics, you can make more informed decisions and resist the urge to make unnecessary purchases. By becoming aware of your personal spending triggers, you'll be one step ahead of the game. Take some time to reflect on your spending habits and identify the patterns. Are you susceptible to limited time offers? These offers create a sense of urgency that can lead to impulsive buying. Do you get caught up in the hype of new product releases? The excitement of being one of the first to own a new product can be hard to resist. Once you pinpoint your weaknesses, you can start building defenses against them, create a budget, make a shopping list, and stick to it. Before you click buy now, ask yourself, do I really need this? This simple question can help you avoid many unnecessary purchases. This simple question can save you a fortune in the long run. Every time you resist an impulse buy, you're taking a step towards financial freedom. Remember, awareness is the first step to change. By understanding your spending triggers, you can take control of your financial future and make more mindful choices. Set clear financial goals and celebrate your milestones. Each small victory will motivate you to stay on track and continue making smart financial decisions. Share your journey with others. Discussing your financial goals and strategies with friends or joining a financial workshop can provide additional support and accountability. Regularly review and adjust your budget as needed. Life changes, and so should your financial plan. Stay flexible and adapt to new circumstances. Ultimately, the goal is to enjoy life without the burden of financial stress. By identifying and managing your spending triggers, you can achieve a balanced and fulfilling life. Take pride in your financial journey and look forward to a bright future. With awareness and mindful spending, you can achieve your financial dreams. Now that you've identified your spending triggers, it's time to get down to the nitty-gritty tracking your expenses. This is where the real magic happens. By keeping a close eye on every dollar that leaves your pocket, you can start to see patterns and habits that you might not have noticed before. I know, it sounds boring, but trust me, this is a game changer. Think of it as a detective story where you are the main character, uncovering clues about your financial life. You might be surprised to see where your money is actually going. Those little purchases that seem insignificant at the time can really add up. Those little $5 here and $10 there can really add up over time. Imagine how much you could save if you were more mindful of these small expenses. Luckily, there are tons of free apps and tools that make tracking your spending super easy. These apps can categorize your expenses, set budgets, and even alert you when you're overspending. Personally, I use Mint, but there are plenty of other great options out there like YNAB, you need a budget, or even just a simple spreadsheet. Each tool has its own unique features, so it's worth exploring a few to see which one fits your needs best. The key is to find a system that works for you and stick with it. Consistency is crucial. The more regularly you track your spending, the more accurate your financial picture will be. Imagine being able to see exactly how much you're spending on coffee, eating out, or those online shopping sprees. This kind of insight can be eye-opening and can help you make better financial decisions. Knowledge is power, and knowing where your money is going is the first step to taking control of your finances. 
With this knowledge, you can start to set realistic financial goals and work towards achieving them. Start tracking your spending for a month, and I guarantee you'll be shocked by the results. You'll likely find areas where you can cut back without feeling deprived. You might even find some hidden leaks in your budget that you weren't even aware of. These could be subscriptions you forgot about or small fees that add up over time. Once you have a clear picture of your spending habits, you can start making informed decisions about where to cut back and save more. This is the foundation of building a solid financial future. By being proactive and diligent, you can take control of your finances and work towards your financial goals with confidence. The 24-hour rule. Impulsive buying is the enemy of saving. We've all been there caught up in the moment clicking that buy now button before we even have time to think. That's where the 24-hour rule comes in. It's simple but incredibly effective. Before making any non-essential purchase, give yourself 24 hours to think it over. This cooling off period can be the difference between a smart purchase and a regrettable impulse buy. Think about it. How many times have you bought something on a whim, only to regret it later? The 24-hour rule gives you time to consider if you really need that item or if it's just a fleeting desire. Do you have something similar already? Is it worth the price? Can you find it cheaper elsewhere? These are all questions you can ask yourself during that 24-hour period. More often than not, you'll find that the urge to buy disappears completely. And if you still want it after 24 hours, then you can make a more informed decision. Embrace the minimalist mindset. Minimalism isn't just about decluttering your home, it's about decluttering your life. It's about shifting your focus from material possessions to experiences and personal growth. By adopting a minimalist mindset, you can break free from the cycle of consumerism and find true contentment. Think about it, do you really need that latest gadget, or would you be happier spending that money on a weekend getaway with friends? Minimalism is about prioritizing what truly matters to you. It's about living intentionally and making conscious choices about what you bring into your life. It's not about depriving yourself, but rather about being mindful of your consumption. Start by decluttering your home and getting rid of things you no longer use or need. You might be surprised by how liberating it feels to let go of material possessions. Then focus on buying only what you truly need and value. Quality over quantity is the key. Invest in experiences and memories, not things that will eventually end up collecting dust. Declutter to gain clarity. Decluttering your physical space can have a profound impact on your mental clarity and spending habits. When you take the time to organize and clear out unnecessary items, you create a more serene and functional environment. When you're surrounded by clutter, it's easy to lose track of what you already own. This disorganization can lead to stress and anxiety, making it difficult to focus on tasks at hand. This can lead to duplicate purchases and unnecessary spending. You might find yourself buying things you already have simply because you can't find them amidst the chaos. By decluttering your home, you'll not only create a more peaceful and organized environment, but you'll also gain a better understanding of your possessions. Knowing exactly what you have can prevent you from making redundant purchases. You might even rediscover items you forgot you had, saving you money in the long run. These forgotten treasures can bring joy and utility back into your life. Start with one small area like a drawer or a shelf. Tackling a smaller space first can make the task feel less overwhelming and more manageable. Go through each item and ask yourself, have I used this in the past year? If the answer is no, it's probably time to let it go. This simple question can help you make quick decisions about what to keep and what to discard. If the answer is no, it's probably time to let it go. Letting go of items that no longer serve you can be liberating and can free up space for things that truly matter. You can donate it, sell it, or simply throw it away. Donating items can help others in need while selling them can provide you with some extra cash. As you declutter, you'll start to feel a sense of lightness and freedom. The physical act of decluttering can also have a positive impact on your mental state, reducing stress and increasing your overall well-being. You'll also become more mindful of what you bring into your home. With a clearer understanding of your possessions, you'll be less likely to make impulsive purchases and more likely to choose items that add value to your life. Challenge yourself to declutter for just 15 minutes a day. Setting a timer can make the task feel more achievable and can help you build a consistent habit. You'll be amazed by the difference it makes. Even a small amount of decluttering each day can lead to significant improvements in your living space and your mental clarity. The transformation can be truly inspiring, motivating you to continue the process and maintain an organized, clutter-free environment. Start saving today! So there you have it. 
10 Powerful Hacks to Stop Wasting Money and Start Saving More Remember, it's not about depriving yourself, it's about making conscious choices and being mindful of your spending. Small changes can make a big difference over time. Now that you've got the tools to stop wasting money, start applying them today and watch your savings grow. Don't forget to share your own money-saving tips in the comments below. Let's create a community of savvy savers and help each other achieve our financial goals. What are some of your favorite ways to save money? Let me know in the comments.